Unlikely results, why most published research is probably false. Scientific findings are considered sound if they are unlikely to have happened by chance. But statistical logic shows that errors are rampant. Consider 1,000 hypotheses to be tested. Not all of them will be true. Perhaps only 10% will. In this case, 100. But sometimes, random error makes a hypothesis that is really false look true, called a false positive. Most disciplines accept the possibility that this happens 1 in 20 times. So 900 negatives produce 45 false positives. If there were 100 real positives and 45 false positives, then almost a third of the results that look true would be wrong. But it's worse than that. There is a second type of error, truths that the scientists miss. Even a well-designed study may fail to spot around 20% of the truths. In this case, that means 20 true positives become false negatives. So now, the researchers see 125 hypotheses that look true, of which 45 are not. And a false negative rate of just 2 in 10 is very good. It might easily be 4 in 10, or in some fields, 8 in 10. In that case, more than twice as many results that look true will be wrong. The negative results are more reliable, but are rarely published, since scientists don't get much acclaim for telling people what's false.